I see dead. Crushed body. I looted the boots off his crushed body. Oh my god. Jeez. Alright. Hardcore, man. Um. I'm gonna do a save on this. Lost. Because I'm almost four. assuredly not gonna actually do this, but I wanna I wanna see where it goes. Uh we'll drop. I guess grease for now. Put that on. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Yep. Okay. Weird as much. Don't want to waste a spell slot on that. Smoko. This area seems to have a loading. Ding level twelve, and I'm f and I feel far from the ending still. Oh, really? That that would be unfortunate. If that's the case. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Never a dull yeah, I, I I really don't like in games if you're like super far from the end and you get complete max level. That takes out a lot of the a lot of the will to keep pushing forward and do all the side content, you know. What's hiding here? Hopefully a lot of good side stuff. These fungal spores are everywhere. Are they bad? Um. Oh my lord. Now we kinda, I kinda wanna go this way. Oh. No. What? what was that? They're coming. They're coming. One's kind of hot. Still your mind. Careful. If we can hear it, perhaps it can hear us. They're coming. That's not good. Hmm. Interesting. Oh god, what is this? Why do you have 45? Oh, that's not good. Um...
well. Ah! Dunk. <laughs> <laughs> Another step forward. Listen to us. Um, they were good. And everyone's too far. Except you! But oh, you already have advantage. Get him, Tiger. Ready for this. Wow! One attack at 75% chance hit. Oh, it's the worst. Push the speed, let's go. Oh wait, no, I just wasted because I already have haste. I have made the biggest of mistakes. Now. Nice, it's near. Kind of took a whole action to do that. Rude. Off balance, great. Destroyer. Cool. He's got like, what? 21 AC? Okay, cool. We'll take it. Amulet that caused that. Never That's pretty wild. Easy path. Not 100% sold on the sorrow. Yeah, I think I'm going to do Sword of Justice instead. I need a better weapon for her. Still breathing, despite everything. Don't waste a step. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. All right. What now? God, what's happening? 
Broken bones. Must have fallen. Oh! That's what it was, chat. We get a little mushroom bro who can overtake enemies, and I could have gone back and gotten the boulette. Right? That what it was? I think that's what it was. That's what it was in EA, at least. I remember in one of our EA runs, we, we charmed, like, every single freaking thing in the zone. It was a huge bug. It was a massive problem. It was not supposed to happen. But that's what it was. It's not that bad. Well, we, no, it's, it's okay. Um, somebody said, Ko, there's a good bard weapon near you just outside the temple. When you say just outside the temple, do you mean like, like literally just outside the temple? Or, oh, wait, is it over there? That is. Because right outside the temple is the, the mean little fireball face punchers. And, and I'm not super into that. I mean, I mean, a little into it, don't get me wrong, but I'm, um, you know. Ooh. Yeah. Is Let's see. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Ring? <laughs> That's not good. Oh. Mm. I mean. Sure, we'll use one of those. I swear to God, if it wants. Oh my God. Rude. No matter how you grip or tug, the sword remains firmly lodged in the stone. He's. <laughs> this. Religion. You can't recall anything this esoteric. There are too many rituals about swords to count. What am I to do? A slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. No matter how you grip or tug, the sword remains firmly lodged in the stone. Hydration is required. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> <sighs> Sometimes you just aren't meant to have something, I think. Yeah. That's you. Excuse me. Better not be cursed. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. I need some water. It feels like you're warring with 10 people for the blade, but with another hard yank, the weapon slips free from the stone. Nice. Alar Alu. Come on, on your feet. Ooh. Alar Aluv Melody? Plus 9, 7 to 16. Like that. Yo, where's my shield at? 
Sword hums in anticipation, ready to burst into maddening, sh maddening shrieks. Or oh, oh, it's it's just a wait. What? What's it do? The sword shrieks. All enemies within six meters of range have a 1d4 penalty to charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws. Affected creatures receive an extra 1 to 4 damage. It does that for five turns. The sword sings a melody. All allies within six meters have a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and charisma, wisdom, and intelligence saving throws. Yo! What does it cost to do this? Oh, it costs an action, though. That's still kind of cool. Okay. Huh. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's Bard the Sword. That's right. Sword the Bard, even. To find a way forward. <laughs> nice first hit there. More for me. Uh, Coben, trying to stay away due to spoilers, but is it easier in BD3 to use all your characters, or are you pretty much stuck with the three you can use? You can switch them out whenever you want. It's very easy to switch characters in this game. Mm -hmm. Very easy. Mushroom, mushroom! Badger, 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 badger. What's up here? Oh, we're good. Something good here, I hope. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be wary. This place is trapped. Oh. Don't walk over it! Oh, did you blow up the frickin'? No. She blew up the ladder? Okay. Why the hell didn't you disarm the trap? Because most of the time when you disarm a trap, or wait, excuse me, when you see a trap, your other characters won't dingus their way in top of them. They will they will move around them. I have to keep going. So for some reason this time our character was just like, hey, I know it's right there. I'm gonna step on it anyway, because I'm feeling dangerous today. I, I'm not quite sure what happened, but it it did. So Yep. Yep. Press G when you see the trap. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Pick up the party, what you're saying. That'll fit in my pack. Looks like a trap there. Jump up here. Not that we need the ladder. Hey, G Mania. Trap. Be cautious.
It's a rustic chest. Open up. Go ahead and grab all the things. Yoink. Yep, and I think this is where we came down earlier from the other location. Mm hmm. There's the uh, elevator. Oh, whoops. We oh, got it. Go the hoarder. Yep. I admire your streaming endurance. You still got it playing streaming for 13 hours a day, multiple days is not easy. Oh, dude. It's been a lot of fun, that's for sure. Besides, we've only been going 11 hours today. Come on now. Let's grab these before we go. Okay. All right, we're going to head back down. Still act one? Oh yeah. Let's not get too close. Oh. Well. No one back home will ever believe this. Oh, we already went up there. Let's go down this way. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's it's versatile and finesse. Okay, good. Making sure. But I mean, this one of the reasons this is this is so good right now is because my strength is twenty one, the plus nine. Yeah, it's gonna go down to like plus seven, I think. Hmm. There was a little candle in that skull. Place seems real open. Timuscan torch stores. Hell of a combination. Oh god. Confused by one, blown up by the other. That's rude. Okay. Skadoosh.
was swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music through one creature sing many voices, the harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the hey, others, brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. I'm a peaceful tune in harmony with the Sovereign. You detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. Since your fear, I've come to aid you. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Okay. He looks like an alien from Independence Day. I'll take it. A dead sprout? Huh. 